All right, I'm super excited to get us here with a great friend of mine, Brian North. He runs an incredible brokerage here in town, very reputable. We all have a lot of appreciation and respect and admiration for Brian. He came to sit down with me, so... I love it, dude. It's so man. good to see you. It's great man. to see you, man. It's I been know. a while. I know. It's been a long time. It's so weird how we got connected because I actually told uh, my our friend Blaine the story of how we met, yep. and then the other, yesterday he was in here in the studio saying, "Hey, I'm going to be interviewing my friend Brian." I was like, "That's so crazy!" I know, dude. Like, like the connection. Entrepreneurial life is the craziest thing. I was yeah. real quick. I did this. Uh, this keynote last night, great State 48 Foundation, and I'm on the 11th floor at 400 East Van Buren, and I'm standing out there, and two things happened. One, at the beginning of my entrepreneurial career, I was unfortunately deposed on the 16th floor at Snell and Wilmer. I didn't do anything wrong, but yeah. I ended up being in a deposition, right? And I was like, I'm so much happier to be here for that. And then I saw one of my very first real estate deals with the guy who had me speak was looking out the window at the condo building, and I'm like, how 20 years later am I standing here in this yeah. same building with all this different energy around me? You know? crazy it's amazing how it's it so works. amazing anyway. to reflect on yeah. that well you've built a great career you've Thank done a you. lot for the community and you've meant a lot to all of us let me ask you a question everybody that's never invested in real estate i just told you about my first yep. deal what do you think is advice that they need to hear to get over that fear barrier to get their first deal like they know that they want to build wealth with real estate they yep. want to be in it they want the benefits yep. how do they like take the leap and finally get over to get their first one? yeah i mean i think look just really basic understanding of the math equation mm -hmm and what you need in your life. You know as good as any that mm -hmm. the first question about investing in anything is about what it's gonna do for you long term, Yeah. right? Someone investing in real estate for the first time, that doesn't mean that they're just starting out in their investing life. It might be diversification for the first time. Yeah. They may have been somebody who put all their money in stock for 50 years, and now for the first time they wanna diversify it because they feel like maybe that's volatile, yeah. right? So for, for that person who's been investing in stock for 50 years, they probably don't need cash flow, right? right? They just want more long-term investment. Or maybe they are retiring and they do need cash flow. Yeah. So all of a sudden, you know, it might be a cash, they pay cash for the property to supplement what was an income. Mm. So I think really the first thing to, it, it might be someone who's got their first $10,000 and they want to invest in their long-term upside as a 20 year old, yeah. you know, that's going to create a unique perspective on what it is they're investing for as well. Right. And so, uh, the other one that's a big one is risk. Yeah. You know what I mean? What's my risk? If it's your only five grand, that's a lot of risk. Right. So where can you minimize that? So I think the two things, if I were really to simplify that is what are you investing for? Is mm -hmm. it for long-term growth? Is it for cash flow? Is it for tax purposes? Okay. Those are probably the first three things to yeah. consider. And then based upon that answer, it's really going to be about, you know, how do I identify a math equation to give me the best result? That would probably be the first thing. And then yeah. last thing I would say is almost always location, 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 yeah. right? It's better to spend up a little bit for a better location than it is to spend down for something that seems like a smoke and deal and a not so great location. Wow, that's solid advice. What do you think is going to happen with all these changes that just came out with these new laws with the buyer, seller, the commission? How do you think that's going to impact what everyone's been used to in buying and selling homes for the last 40 years? The unfortunate major thing that's going to happen is confusion. Mm. That's it. That's okay. going to be the biggest net result. And when people realize, I mean, remember, I've been doing it for 20 years, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm the best. I'm being funny. I'm as good as anyone out there, yeah. okay? Yeah. It is the hardest career that I know of on the planet, yeah. right? Why? Because the transactions are laced with emotion, okay? Mm -hmm. And everyone just thinks, no, I'm on Zillow, and then I can comp a house, and I can write an offer, and... There's so much that goes into it. Yeah. So what's going to happen right now is everybody's been told they don't have to use an agent or that they don't have to pay a fee or that it was illegal. And none of that is true. Mm. And they're going to go and try and attempt it themselves. And yeah. people are going to find themselves in lawsuits. They're going to find themselves having lost a lot of money, buying mm. a turd of a house. Then they're going to go to a wine and cheese party and they're going to share the story with their friends. And their friends are going to be like, don't do what I did. And they're going to go back to using real estate agents and the fee structure is going to be similarly the same. And we're going to go back to normal. Yeah. But in the short term, it's just going to create a lot of confusion. That's mm. the unfortunate reality. Okay. Yeah. And the reason I share it with mm. you, the, the, the metaphor for it is, you know, why do you use a doctor for surgery? Why do you use an attorney to litigate your divorce? Why do you use a financial planner to help you build long-term wealth? Right. Why do you, why any of why do we use specialty services for anything? Yeah. Because you don't do them any day. Go do, go be good at what you're good at, which is not buying and selling houses. Right. Let me help you out with that. And if I help you save hundreds of thousands of dollars or help limit your risk, shouldn't I get compensated? Yeah. Yeah. So it's just going to create confusion, unfortunately. 
Where can we? I know you're going to be doing a lot of speaking. Where can we see you speak next? Uh, Women's Council. I got to find out where it is. I think it might be in Sedona, which is great for me because I love yeah. Sedona. Um, and then uh, working on a couple of other things. We got um, uh, another. Here's the probably the easiest one right now podcasts yeah yeah um yeah. really are where it's at online yeah. i'm always dropping uh, fresh content okay women's council is really the next one that i've got um cool. lined up but yeah well we'll link all your stuff down below i think you're one of the most inspirational local entrepreneurs that Thanks, i get man. access to to get yeah. to hang out with and talk to and Appreciate i call it. you over the years periodically yeah. for a little advice yeah. or a little chat and you've been great about that so thanks Anytime, so much for the man, man. appreciate for me too yeah thanks Love so much for me. appreciate yeah, it absolutely yeah.